Okay, so what we're looking at now are the leg bones uh, called the tibia and the fibula. Uh, the tibia is the larger, more medial bone. The fibula is the smaller, more lateral bone. Uh, when you are looking at these in terms of determining right versus left, uh, we're only going to do right versus left for the tibia. Uh, what you want to do is find the medial malleolus on the tibia. So if you can find the medial malleolus, and then if you just put that up to your own leg, okay, so we're going to do this right here. Okay. So here's the medial malleolus, so it's on the medial side of the foot there, so we know that we're dealing with the right tibia. So you're looking at the right tibia if you orientate the medial malleolus medially. Okay. So and as far as structures go on the tibia, we look at the proximal portion of the tibia. Uh, we have a medial condyle, that's this large one here. We have a lateral condyle. It's easy to determine medial and lateral if you can find the medial malleolus. So medial condyle, lateral condyle. In between okay, is the intercondylar eminence. So intercondylar eminence is in between the two condyles. Moving down this way, we have the tibial tuberosity. And then we have this border along the diaphysis that's called the anterior border. This is the part that's not protected by any musculature. Okay. Down here at the distal portion, okay, we have, again, the medial malleolus, and we have the articulating surface with the talus. Okay. So this is the part that's going to touch the talus of the foot. And then on the fibula, parts to know here, up here at the proximal portion, we have the head of the fibula. And then down here at the distal portion of the fibula, we have the lateral malleolus. And so when they are articulating together, you can see how the medial malleolus and the lateral malleolus make those two large bumps of your ankle.